So for tonight's wet and wet sky three, I thought we'd do a very simple sky landscape. We're gonna have some yellow ochre, that mix of cobalt blue, light red that I really like. We'll just use those two colors. Um, and this is gonna be a, an exercise that um, Tony Smyber has taught me and it's in quite a couple of his books. Uh, so I'll put them in the link in the description below. He's co-authored some books like How to Paint Like Turner uh, and then he has recently written a book called Turner's Apprentice and it's a really great book so if you can ever get hold of any of his books or do any of his classes then I recommend that that's a really great thing. So this is going to be nice and simple so all I'm doing is just wetting the page and this is a, an, an old piece of paper you can see has been a bit damaged you can see up in here and here it's absorbing the paper in a different way but that's okay because this is just an exercise so you can use any watercolor paper you've got you can paint on the other side of another piece that you've got so we're just going to get a bit of yellow oak and we're not going to be too um, we're not going to be too careful I'm just going to use a two inch hake brush here but you could just use a, a sable and we're just going to bring in a little bit of warmth down in there here like this uh, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to practice using this sable so if you don't have a pure clean sea say we don't have to but it is a pretty cool brush to get actually I have to say it's, it's definitely if you're gonna have one brush then you know a hake and a sable I'd say you know I know that's two <laughs> so uh, what we're gonna do here is just bring in a bit of the the cloud formations just nice and simply not too much playing around with it and we could of course have dried that first and it would have not mingled with it like that so we'll just bring that in there and we'll just uh, bring in a bit of sweeping down and then we might just bring in a bit of the beginnings of the of the ocean I'll just strengthen that a little bit just strengthen that again a little bit just to get a little bit of stronger tone there and then we could just strengthen a little bit down the bottom here you know And then if we wanted to with the 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 hake brush we could just bring in a little bit of colour into the ocean there. We could start to join these together a bit if we wanted to, but we'll we'll try and keep this this pretty simple. So that's the lovely thing about these sorts of exercises, they do not take very long at all. And uh, and it's good because you don't get too attached to them. It's not about the end result. And what I might do now is I might, you can see this is very wet in wet. It's all melded in. There's not a lot of, you can't see a lot of brush stroke here. So I'm just gonna dry this quickly. And I might come back in with the brush and just, just so we get a little bit more uh, brush marks going on. So I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll just dry it a bit. And you know the lovely thing about working small is uh, it doesn't take long to dry either, which is really great. So I, I just wanted to show you now um, doing some different brush marks. So I'm going to load up the, the sable again with um, that mix of uh, cobalt blue and light red. And all I want to do is just uh, play around with using my brush. So I don't want to always just bring it in from above and I don't want to always just use the, the, the tip of it. I want to use the side and the heel and I want to make some interesting marks with that and that for me anyway that is what I love about when I look at other people's paintings the marks that they're making on the page. So we'll just do a little bit of that here and of course you could hold the brush like this but also you could just hold it like this too you know you don't have to hold it in a certain there's no rules really in the way that you do that. So I'll just start like this I'll just start coming in like that but again I feel like I can probably get some more interesting marks and I'll just dry that a bit and you know, get a little bit less pigment on it and then you can really be you know scuffing it up and then we could be coming down like this so we might get a little bit more and it's just interesting to just play around with the different brushes 
and the different marks that you can make with them. And you guys might have really liked that, just that wet and wet soft, and I often do too. But it's also just really cool to just play around with what um, your brush can do on the page. Dry, dry brushing, I suppose. And then you can always come along and just wet, you know, and then load up and wet again and lots of different things. But I just thought that might be interesting. And there might be a bit of light just coming across here. And then a little bit more dark coming in down here. So I know this is a very quick one tonight, but it's just, it's nice to use warms and cools. It's nice to do a bit of wet in wet, but it's also nice to do a bit of, a bit of dry brush too. And, and of course, you know, you could dry this and, and I always love scraping back or do some lights or do some more detail, but, but I think overall, this is just a great um, start and a great way to just play around. You can see where the paper's damaged here. And so obviously if this, if I was trying to create a finished painting here, this would not be great. I wouldn't be loving that and I'd start again, but cool. So thanks for joining me tonight in this quick, simple wet and wet sky number three with a, an exercise from Tony Smiber. Don't forget, if you want to know when I publish my videos then press the subscribe button and then press the bell notifications button and then you'll know when I publish them. So thanks for joining me tonight. And I'd like to thank all my subscribers and, and it's pretty amazing actually. I've got over 4,000 now and it's really fantastic. So thanks to every single one of you. It's really great. I really love interacting with you guys and I really love being able to help you if I can. And I just enjoy painting in watercolor. So it's just good to share and it actually keeps me motivated to paint all the time, which is really great. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Good night. Mm -hmm.